First up, your latest triumph was the IBSF World Snooker Championship at the Al Arabi Sports Club in Doha. You now have 18 world titles. Does that figure sometimes sound surreal to you? 18 world titles? Absolutely, Akash. It's, it, it's, it does sound surreal because I never ever imagined at the start of my career that I would win so many uh, world titles, that to both in billiards and snooker. Uh, and to be able to do it back to back, I think this has to rank as uh, my best achievement till date because in, in a month I've been able to lift both, to be able to lift both the world billiards and snooker titles is just absolutely unreal. Right. I, in fact, wanted to ask you about the quick turnaround between those two events. We'll get to that in a bit. Before that, of the 18 titles, Pankaj, that you won so far, which one is the most memorable for you? Uh, well, they always say your first love is special. Uh, likewise, my first title will always be the most special one that I've won. Uh, back in 2003, when I was just 18 years old, I was in China representing India in the same IBSF World Snooker Championship, and I was expected to do nothing. And I ended up winning that title. I remember it was Diwali, October 25th, 2003. So it was my Diwali gift to the nation that year, and I, I just can't ever forget the reception that I got and the fact that I was taken on an open jeep from the airport. Uh, the, the game that I played, uh, which was beyond my years, I never expected, I never imagined that I could play so well. So sometimes I just end up surprising myself, really. Right. Now, Pankaj, you won uh, world title number 18 recently, but uh, you won title number 17 in November, just before that. And that was at the IBSF World Billiards Championship, where you defeated uh, Mike Russell of England. How difficult are these quick turnarounds between two tournaments, two different formats? I can't tell you how difficult it is to switch from one format to the other. You know, we had the short format of billiards first, which I won. Then I had to switch to the longer format, the more traditional format of billiards, which is the longer game. Uh, after that, I had to again switch to snooker, which is a completely different ball game. Uh, so, I just can't tell you how difficult it is. I think the people who play the game, who understand the game, uh, will know what it takes to actually go out there and perform with the same intensity. And also to be able to make that switch, because the techniques that, that are required for both billiards and snooker are extremely different from each other. The mindset, the, the approach, the scoring pattern, the tactical play, uh, all of these things are very, very different. And I'm so glad that I've been given a talent in both billiards and snooker because people normally specialize in one sport and are still unable to win uh, a single gold medal you know, internationally. So uh, I consider myself blessed and I feel that uh, I'm going to go forward and still try and win as many as I can. Right, we'll talk about playing both billiards and snooker in just a bit also, Pankaj. But before that, do you sometimes feel that Q-sports and Q-sports athletes don't get their due here in India? Uh, this is a question I think you guys need to answer because it's, it's you know, a question that you keep asking. And I think, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's about uh, perception. And if, if the media feels that winning world championships is a big thing, then they'll do the needful. They'll give it uh, importance and significance. If they feel that it's not really important, then so be it. But that's not going to stop me from doing what I do, which is to represent my country, uh, to win for my country, to bring laurels for India, uh, and to keep going as a professional. And uh, what I don't get or what I get is up to the people to decide. These are all external factors. But what I can control is my game, my performance, and I'll let my performance do the talking and leave the rest to the governments and the media. Right. Also, Pankaj, you of course began this journey when you were very young. But tell us, how did this journey begin? How did you decide that you want to turn your passion into a career? I started at the age of 10, where I used to follow my brother Shri to a snooker club near our house. And I slowly picked up the game from there. Then I came to the Karnataka State Village Association, where the game was played more seriously. Uh, but when I was 16 years old, I remember reaching the semi-finals of the World Junior Championships. And I also made it to the finals of the Asian Billiards Championships. And, I, and, I, and that's when I realized, I said, listen, if I can make it to the semi-finals and finals of international tournaments, I can definitely go one step further and win it. And soon after, at the age of 18, uh, I ended up winning my first world title. So things happened really quickly. Uh, and from there, you know, obviously, it, it's tougher to maintain your position. And, and, and I've really worked hard at my craft. I've tried to excel in it and I'm so happy that I've been able to consistently perform over a period of 15 years now. Right, Pankaj, you know, there's a school of thought out there that Indian players don't play some of the big tournaments that feature the likes of John Higgins and Ronnie O'Sullivan. Is that a correct assessment? You see, um, the snooker main tour, as it's called, is basically in the UK. 
and the the and the game mainly is uh, held the main the main tournaments are held in UK and China. Uh, unlike Thailand and China, which you know two Asian countries where uh, their support is absolutely uh, you know hundred percent for the players, they encourage their players to go out there to the UK. They fund them, they give them all the facilities. Our system is very different. So uh, we support uh, our athletes to go out and represent uh, India in the IBSF uh, snooker events. Of course, billiards is, is has got the the best of the best playing in the IBSF billiards. Uh, but in snooker, the system is such that uh, you know that we are not encouraged to go out there and play in England, and that that that's how it is. So uh, it's all about priorities, really. And uh, the federations obviously have to look into this and say, okay, fine. What are our priorities? Are our priorities to send our Q Sports uh, uh, athletes to go out there in England and play, or are we just going to send them to the IBSF events? Which is also fine because the IBSF events are uh, more global and they attract more countries and 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 you know players from all over the globe. Right, Pankaj. I know Ronnie O'Sullivan is a friend of yours. How highly would you rate Ronnie? He is widely regarded as one of the best snooker players of all time. Would you agree with that? Ronnie is a genius. I mean, I know him personally. Uh, he's a really nice guy. He's fun. He's uh, quirky. He's he's got his uh, moments of madness, and that's what people love about him. Uh, and he's an absolute treat to watch when he's on the snooker table. So uh, he's one of the best players to have picked up the cue in snooker. Uh, and he always says, "Listen, why don't we have a challenge match? You know, I'll play you in billiards, you play me in snooker. I'll, you know, and we we sort of mix the sports and play each other. So I'm really looking forward to that if that could happen one day."